for Muriel and myself, as opposed to for Claire, who's a uh, new girl on the block, which is fantastic <laughs> to have that yeah. fresh eye. Um, but, uh, you know, for us, it didn't start with a trilogy. It started with a play, One play. you know, as, as these things do so often. And um, it was this play called The List. And uh, Muriel gave it to me to read for a, a, a rehearsal room, which is a rehearsed reading um, that uh, Stella Quines put on regularly of plays that, you know, so many wonderful plays out there, so little time. And, uh, you know, within five pages, I was like, yes, we need to do this. And so it started with that one play, and then our relationship with Jennifer grew and grew, and she was very pleased with what we did with it. You know, um, I think, you know, she managed to come over that first year, which was fabulous, of course, always having the writer there. And we, our relationship really, really kind of solidified. That's a terrible word to say, but a relationship, <laughs> you know, but, it, but it became very strong. It became yeah. very strong with us and Jennifer and the real mutual trust between us, yeah. which is fantastic. Which is the major thing. The yeah, exactly. Thing. And then she, then she wrote ca The Carousel, which was the next part. And then she says herself, um, then because she likes a bit of, she likes things to be nice and simple, you know, she thought, well, I need to write a third play because I need to write a trilogy. So that's why we've got a trilogy of plays, but it wasn't going to be a trilogy to start with, but now it is. And which is fantastic because you get this wonderful, um, you know, all these three different aspects of this woman's life in a way, her different take on different parts of her life, her journey to, mm. to, um, to find out why she's arrived at the stage she's at and, um, and how she can move forward and, you know, loosen herself of the chains of the past, really. I didn't lay a finger on her. I didn't hire anyone to creep in and murder her. And yet it's as if I killed her. Her death is my fault. I'm not saying if we hadn't met, she wouldn't be dead. The point is we met so I could prevent her death. So when I came on board, it was already formed as a trilogy, really. Yeah. I mean, I'd seen the list, and I'd seen the carousel actually also individually, but when I first started working on it, I read the scripts as a trilogy and what really fascinated me is just these links that thread through each one but actually they're very much standalone pieces and also they're very much the way they're structured you can watch them in any order and it almost goes round in a circle like you could start with the deliverance and follow on with the list and then the carousel um, and it's about that circle circle yeah. of life really yeah. and life passing into death and how that ties in with religion and humankind and nature and I think that's really really fascinating. So that's really what pulled me to it in particular. Marie? Where are you, Marie? Marie, I'm talking to you. I want an answer. Yes, my granddaughter. I'm here, my granddaughter. Where are you, Marie? My body has merged with the soil of the coast. Kneel on this hill, clasp your hands, remember the fervour of your childhood, turn your face to the water, I'll hear your prayer. The themes and the motifs uh, which we've been building through, which are there in the text anyway, but which we've been building through with the soundscape by Philip Pinsky, who's got all these motifs for the different characters that come in and out. Mm. They come back again in each of the three plays. You hear those same stings of sound, those same melodies, those same uh, soundscapes, um, which of course start to become much more obvious when your plays are being shown so close together. Because if you see the list, then you wait a year and you see the carousel and then you wait another year and you see the deliverance of course some people will go oh i do remember that yeah. but this is a real chance to see all these themes um being picked up and and and, and more and more finely wrought and and we've been we've been at pains to really try and um you know shine a very bright light on those so that those are there for people to see and and, and hear if they want to and that's been fascinating as well yeah. um you know because it's very much even though you see different aspects of her it's very much the same woman there's mm -hmm. no question she doesn't she doesn't become somebody else it's just like all of us we have you know we we present ourselves in different ways don't we depending on who we're talking to and uh mm -hmm. and what we want from them and um you know whether we like them or we don't all that stuff so that's yeah. very that's been very uh, exciting to do as well.